Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in near Shakota, Oklahoma, and want to welcome you to yet another song and Bible reading. So glad you could join me this morning. We're going to be reading from 1 John chapter 2, and another great chapter. I just don't know. Does it keep getting better? Is that possible? Well, it can, and that's the way the Lord works. I remember that I saw a saying up on a wall that it said, the Lord is eternally progressive. There is no end, right? So he is eternally progressive. With him, everything is on the up and up. And we're so thankful to be able to walk with him. Thanks for joining our live stream last night. We had a wonderful time and we had a great time after the live stream having cupcakes and ice cream with the birthday boy, Nate. He's now a full 15 years old and full of vim and vigor and dreams. And we're so thankful for him. This is my commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. Oh, there's lots of things that you could stress about in our walk with the Lord. Oh, I gotta do this, or don't do that, or I gotta think this way, think that way. You know, that's just too burdensome. And that's how the children of Israel tried to walk for so many years under the old commandment. And in the end, they just couldn't do it. Well, in the grand scheme of God, of course, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And in that believing on him, God sent forth his love. And he said, this is my new commandment that ye love one another. Christians have a tendency to pick and judge where um, it doesn't have to be that way. There is a judge who will take care of all these things and we do not have to do it. We've been asked and commanded to love one another. And what that looks like in each of our lives, well, the Holy Spirit can teach us those things. This is my commandment, that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, that your joy may be full. Somehow we get this thinking that if we would just fix everybody around us, why then we'd be happy. Well, that's not how things go. Jesus said, if you love one another, then your joy would be full. I think that's worth a try, don't you think? Amen. Love one another. All right, well, let's get to the scriptures. 1 John chapter 2. And we're just going to ask the Lord for his blessing. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. 
We thank you for your commandment and that it is not burdensome. And not only have you given us a yoke which is light, you have also given us your Holy Spirit to help us on each and every turn. Help us to be sensitive to your Spirit. Help us to be obedient to the moving of your will in our lives. Bless the reading of your word this morning. Let it just find a spot in each of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we have 1 John chapter 2. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation of our, for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which he had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, Which thing is true in him and in you? Because the darkness is past, and that true light now shineth. Verse 9. He that saith he is in the light, and hateth his brother, is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness has blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you, for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him, that is, from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. What encouragement he's giving. Verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, It is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. 20. But you have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Christ, that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whoso denieth the Son? Interesting. Whoso den- whoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son 
hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he promised us, even eternal life. These things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. 28. And now, little children, abide in him, that when, ye shall, when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. But ye know that he is righteous. You know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Wow. That's a lot there. He talks about loving. He talks about abiding in Him. He talks about putting on righteousness. You know, I think a good thing to do day by day, maybe even many times a day, is to check ourselves. Um, the way I like to look at it is, if there is anybody, absolutely anybody, that I cannot go to, look in the eye, and have a conversation with, um, if, I, if I can't do that, then there's a problem. And we need to look at loving one another and forgiving one another because that's what Jesus did for us. And we hurt him terribly with the sins that we have committed, yet he loved us enough to die for us and to cleanse us of our sins. So I would check if there's someone that you just would be unable to have a good conversation with, maybe even give them a hug. If, 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 you, if you don't think you can do that, then that's something that needs to be dealt with because forgiveness in our walk with the Lord is utmost. So like to check ourselves on whether we have forgiven everybody. And I know that there are things that people have done that have hurt us, but God said, him, Jesus himself said, that we are to love our enemies. Yeah, and that means forgiving. God, he's well able to take care of anything that has been wronged. Okay? So let's check ourselves. Are we loving? Are we walking in righteousness? Now all we can do is walk in the light that he's showing us, but it is incumbent upon us to find out how we ought to walk. And then the Holy Spirit is there to help us with that, to teach us how, and then to forgive us when we mess up, because we do. John talked about that in there. And so we need to check ourselves day by day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that we can just commit ourselves to following in his ways today. I want to encourage you to go to AmundsenFamilyMusic.com, click on the blue VIP button, and you can see what's going on there for as low as $5 a month. We'd love that. It, uh, and what that does is it's going to help put food on the table while we continue to make music and put on these devotions. It gives us the time that we need to do that. So we really appreciate that. And also, if you... Now, we don't have these up for sale right now, but um, if you would go to our website, we have coffee mugs, which, by the way, are going to be shipped out soon. Maybe even today, we have a shipment of of wares going out, CDs, um, you know those winter decoration things that Gabe made? He, we're shipping some of those out, and so look forward to your purchase coming very soon. But go to our website, those of you who haven't, check out what we have on our store. We, of course, have our CDs. Um, 
What else can I tell you? Look forward to a song coming out immediately after this live stream. It is the last mile of the way. And we really hope that you enjoy this song that we're going to be putting. I hope that you spread it around, share it, like it, comment. We do not mind conversations on our uh, Facebook or our YouTube because that just helps the algorithm spread it further and faster to so many more people that could use a positive message and a positive example. And we believe that we've been given the platform to do that. But you are the ones that are able to push it further and further. So thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. And Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow morning.